G'day guys, Luke here. Welcome back to another video. Today's video is a setup video on shingleback skinks. This is Monty and I'll be showing you guys how I set up his enclosure. For baby shingleback skinks, I do recommend uh, housing them in a three foot enclosure. But in this case, since Monty is an adult, I do house him in a four foot by two foot by two foot enclosure. Uh, you can get away actually putting a pair of shingleback skinks in an enclosure this size. With lighting, I use the 60 watt Philip heat globe to use as heat, while you can use any brand UVB globe for reptiles. Temperatures, uh, make sure with the heat is between 30 to 34 degrees Celsius, while the cool side will be between 24 to 26 uh, degrees Celsius. For substrate, I use the Koi brick. brick. Uh, you can use sand, newspaper, uh, sugar cane mulch, any substrate you can use. Uh, shinglebacks make sure it's dry day. Uh, they don't really like their humidity For diet, I would make sure you have a water bowl in there, but they do eat bok choy, carrot, chicken dog food, apple uh, Strawberry, blueberries, banana uh, Kale and uh, Crickets, or maybe wood roaches if you do offer your uh, shingleback skink uh, live food but make sure you do uh, give it a variety of food to eat. For accessories, make sure you do have a hide for your shingleback skink that they can hide away from. Uh, you can use a stick in there, a back, background, a uh, fake plant and rocks uh, for them to help them shed and give it a nice uh, appealing look for the enclosure. I hope this video does help you out guys in setting up for a shingleback skink. Uh, there's more setup videos I've made, or the links will be in the description. As always, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I'll see you all in another video.